you just sort of trust the training and as the intervals get longer and as the long runs get a little quicker you hope that it sort of all converges on race day and you take that leap of faith to really go for it. So my name is Zach Chalteco. I'm training for the New York City Marathon. It'll be my third marathon and first world major. We're about 11 weeks out, so I'm sort of starting to get into the marathon specific training. And we're sort of documenting the journey on that build up here. So in high school, I ran two seasons of track and two summers of cross country. I only ever achieved like pretty average results. I had a lot of talent, but I never gave myself a real chance to compete at the next level. So graduate, fast forward eight years, not really running in between. I find myself working at Pentel, working with the SRLA organization, helping them sort of work up to uh, running the LA Marathon. And I attend one of their events and I'm completely inspired. Like, it's pretty amazing to see like a seventh grader and all these thousands of students striving for this huge goal to run a marathon. So I sort of feed off of it and I decide that I wanna run a marathon as well and commit to running LA a bit recklessly, go from sort of couch to LA marathon in six weeks, which is not advisable, but get to the marathon and end up completing it in three hours and 49 minutes. But it wasn't about the time. It was extraordinary. Like I felt so alive. And I sort of remember distinctly like in the race being kind of overwhelmed with like just emotion and like reminded of how much I loved running. And um, I made this like promise to myself that I would give this whole running thing like one more honest go and see if there was something there still. I was sort of looking for a goal to challenge myself and discovered that New York City Marathon has a time qualifier. So I trained for it and ended up qualifying for the New York City Marathon in my first attempt. From there, I was like, okay, that was like sort of my first indicator. Like, I think there's something still here. Like, and I loved doing it. So by the time uh, LA 2024 marathon comes around, I'm in the elite start, which is surreal that I've gotten here in the last year, uh, but also like really validating. It's a night and day feeling, like I feel so much more prepared, still nervous, but like really excited to see like what I'm capable of now, like a year later. The race goes really well, and I end up completing the marathon in two hours, 48 minutes. 61 minutes faster than the, the previous year that was good for 40th overall and the really cool thing was that I even beat two people in the pro start so that was like sort of my next indicator like okay maybe I'm not crazy like I think there's something still here and like the most important thing is that I had like such a blast like it was so much fun the goal for New York City Marathon is to take as big of a swing as I can at my personal best of 248. And I think it'd be really cool to go top 100, be in the double digits at the largest marathon in the world. I was looking at previous results and I think it's gonna take around two hours and 35 minutes to two hours and 39 minutes, somewhere in that range. It'd be 10 minutes faster at least, but that's sort of what I'm going for.